Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Tuesday the 7th of July and a particular welcome to us if this is your first time with us. Everything you'll need for this service will appear on the screen. If you're not familiar with how these services work, you join in with the bold bits, I read the other bits, but frankly if you want to read it all I absolutely don't mind and I certainly won't know. If you have any suggestions for how we can improve this service do please send an email to barry at hopechurchfamily.org. Shall we begin? O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. We're going to read a canticle. It's a song of God's blessing, which is based around Psalm 67. Why don't you join in with the even numbered verses on this? God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Shall we read Psalm 76 together now? It's a song celebrating a great victory of God on behalf of his people. Let's say this together. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. At Salem is his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There broke he the flashing arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword and weapons of war. In the light of splendour you appeared, glorious from the eternal mountains. The boastful were plundered, they have slept their sleep. None of the warriors can lift their head. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot fell stunned. Terrible are you in majesty, who can stand before your face when you're angry? You caused your judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth trembled and was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek upon the earth, you crushed the wrath of the peoples and bridled the wrathful remnant. Make a vow to the Lord your God and keep it. Let all who are around him bring gifts to him that is worthy to be feared. He breaks down the spirit of princes and strikes terror in the kings of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Well, we're going to continue reading from the Bible together now. We're continuing in the book of Acts, chapter 10, beginning at verse 44. And Peter is speaking to a bunch of Gentiles, uh, headed by a man called Cornelius. This is the first time a Jew has preached to a Gentile. He had gone into a Gentile house. It's a remarkable occurrence. It's something remarkable is going to happen in this reading. So beginning at verse 44. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on Gentiles, for they heard them speaking in tongues and praising God. Then Peter said, surely no one can stand in the way of their being baptised with water. They've received the Holy Spirit just as we have. So he ordered that they be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now why don't you pause the video and just have a think about these questions. And when you're ready to continue, click play to continue. We're going to turn to prayer now and I'm going to invite you to take a few moments to pray for the topics that appear here on the screen and for anything else that's on your heart today. And to give you time to do that, press pause now and then click play to continue. We're going to continue in prayer as we pray this great prayer of St. Augustine. Eternal God, the light of minds that know you, the joy of the hearts that love you and the strength of the wills that serve you, grant us so to know you that we may truly love you, so to love you, that we may truly serve you, whose service is perfect freedom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of our time for today now. We we'll hope we'll see you again for daily prayer tomorrow. In the meantime, thank you for joining in. And if you do need any help, or if you've got any questions during this strange old time, do please get in touch. Barry at HopeChurchFamily.org Let's finish by saying, may the risen Christ give us his peace. Amen.